Hello. Today we're going to show you how we make the seven African powers incense. Now, oh, before I forget, y también si quieres ver este video en español, haz clic aquí. Okay, so the seven African powers incense. What is it? Well, basically, it is a combination of seven elements and characteristics from seven different orishas, each represented by a particular incense and gathered together into a power that we burn in order to release that energy and bring it into our lives. Cool. What's an Orisha? Well, an Orisha is a manifestation of the principal deity of the Yoruba religion from Western Africa. So they have a main deity, a principal deity, and each of the Orishas is a manifestation or a particular characteristic of that principal deity. There are many, many, many Orishas. Now this is from West Africa, so throughout history it has found its way into the New World, uh, North America and Latin America. Uh, some practice it in the form of Santeria, uh, they're used in Hoodoo and other spiritual practices. But for our purposes, we're going to use these seven Orishas to represent the seven energies or seven spiritual goodnesses to bring into our world. So, you're going to need six different kinds of incense, so get your shopping list ready. Okay, first, Frankincense, myrrh, cinnamon, sage, white sage is good, but any kind of sage will do really. Dragon's blood. sandalwood. This is red sandalwood. It's already in powder form, which is pretty handy. That's six. What's the seventh element? You are. The practitioner is. So, let's go over this in some detail. Okay, so the six different incenses here. We'll take them in order. We have frankincense. The orisha that is represented by this is ogun, and it is for strength and protection. Next we have the myrrh, it is represented uh, by the Orisha Chango, and that is for power over your enemies. It also has relations to the planet Mars, so warlike and strong, basically dominating. Yeah. We have the cinnamon, it is represented by the uh, Orisha Oshun, which is for money, wealth, and drawing in love into your life. We have the sage, represented by Elegua, which is to eliminate obstacles or the things that might be blocking you in your, in your path, on your road. We have the dragon's blood, which is represented by the Orisha Yemaya, which is for the powers and energies of virility, potency, and strengthening uh, the family, the family home, also marriages, matrimony, things like that. And we have the sandalwood, which is represented by the Orisha Obatala for peace, harmony, and also clairvoyance. Not really the clairvoyance of seeing what isn't immediately around you or outside of your uh, line of sight, but more like uh, clarity of mind. Okay, so you know, clearing up your uh, your headspace and getting your mind in order. And then finally, the very last element, uh, or Orisha rather, is uh, Orun Mila, and that is for wisdom. Now, that wisdom is not represented by any particular incense. It is represented by the practitioner. It is represented by the person who is either preparing this incense or using this incense. So, this is a mocajete, okay? In this mocajete, we have to grind up all of these herbs, these incenses in their proportions. So let's set about that and we'll show you exactly how this is made. Okay, now this is the fun part. So all of this is made in proportion. Okay, I like to use a tablespoon, it's kind of easy, and it makes a lot of this just by using tablespoons, but it goes like this. You're going to want four parts 
frankincense, three parts of myrrh, two parts of cinnamon, one part of sage, one part of sandalwood, and one half part of dragon's blood. So, to begin, there's four parts of the frankincense. Okay? There. Now, I'm not going to go through this whole thing of grinding it up and, and making it in front of you because it does take a good hour to do this. You got to do this by hand. Okay? But the idea is as you are grinding into each one of these herbal elements or these pieces of the incense, you want to be focused very strongly on the orisha and the energy that it's going to bring about. So, in the case of the frankincense, we have the orisha ogun, and the energy is strength and protection. Okay? So, you might want to maybe prepare a prayer to this particular orisha, okay? Um, there are many, 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 many prayers to all of the orishas, okay? This is not very standard. A lot of times it's very personal to you, okay? So, but basically you just want to have that, your mind focused on the energy that it is going to impart into the incense. As you go ahead and grind away, you're putting that energy into it. You're thinking about the strength and protection. You're thinking about the frankincense. You're thinking about Ogun. Focusing on that. Go all the way. Get it down to a very, very fine powder. Continue on with each one. This is kind of the consistency that you want the uh, resinous parts to be. To be Nice little powder just like that. The rest of these grind up pretty much the same way. I'll show you a trick with the sage here in a minute because it's an herb and it's not easily ground up in the mocha hepe. So let's get to that. Okay, with these, this is where it gets really hard. Okay, the cinnamon sticks are it's wood. Okay, so grinding this up is really going to just take a whole lot of effort you know so you really gotta really gotta work it and make sure you maintain your focus on uh, you know Oshun and money and love drawing while you're doing this okay two of the difficult things in life to really attract to yourself is wealth and love okay so you really gotta work at this but like I said I was gonna show you a little trick with this so um, to mix the sage together with the cinnamon does make it a lot easier. It kind of gives it a, a better medium to uh, to grind off of. So let's go ahead and, and do that. Like I said, we had two parts of the cinnamon and one part of the sage. So we'll just kind of approximate this like so, okay? And now you're focusing on Oshun and Elegua at the same time, okay? So you're eliminating obstacles with the energy of Elegua, like eliminating the obstacle of grinding this up, and drawing in wealth and love. This is going to take a while. Okay, good. So finally we have the, uh, the mixture of the cinnamon and the sage together. And, uh, you know, be patient with it. This takes a long time. You know, this, uh, get yourself a good mocha hete that is nice and uh, has a lot of ridges like this. This is made out of uh, volcanic rock, so it's very rough, uh, and it really helps grinding up herbs. I know a lot of people use uh, mortar and a pestle, um, but I can tell you that's not going to get you anywhere with, uh, with uh, sage and uh, any of the woody herbs, things like that, especially cinnamon. So we have our six different incenses here. Okay, we got the dragon's blood, we have the myrrh, the frankincense, sage and cinnamon, sandalwood. Okay, we have requested the assistance of the six orishas associated with this. We have requested that the virtues, elements, and characteristics of the incense themselves be brought forth during our grinding of them, 
And then finally, the very last ingredient is from the practitioners, from you, okay, the one who's going to be using this. We ask for wisdom. And we ask that from the Orisha Urun Mila, okay? And the reason why I like to use the practitioner um, as the source of wisdom is because wisdom is a human faculty that is derived from the discernment of the mind and the spirit. Now, there are plenty of deities out there and different uh, um, incenses, herbs, or the virtues of plants or whatever that can, are said to impart wisdom. But for our purposes, you know, we like to be a little more involved in our, our practice. Because like we always say, everything around you is tools. Without you, there is no construction. There is no building. There is no final product. The wisdom must come from with us because the magic comes from us. So go ahead and combine all these together. Okay. Yeah. Well, very good. Give them one last final mix. And here, you want to kind of have all these, uh, all these things in your mind that you want to bring forth. Seven African powers. Okay. And that's it for the making of it. All right, well, that concludes the, uh, the making of the seven African powers. Uh, in the description below, I am going to leave a uh, list of the different elements, uh, the Orisha associations, and their constituent uh, proportions, okay, so you can make it yourself. So it looks kind of like this, okay. To use this in incense form, you'd simply just take a uh, charcoal, uh, the uh, indoor burning charcoals that have the uh, saltpeter self-starters in them, and go ahead and get that thing going nice and hot and then put a small amount on top of it. I mean, I'm talking about a pinch, like a little bit. Um, this stuff is very pervasive and it smells absolutely amazing. You will not be disappointed. If you used it just to smell good all on its own, you would be happy with it. But just remember, when you're burning this, when you're releasing into the air, you're taking part of it into you. You're putting those energies out into your environment, okay? So they're releasing the seven African powers into you and into your space. If you would prefer not to go through the trouble of making this yourself, you can visit our website at twosistersbotanica.com where we do sell this in the powdered form. And it looks like this. Okay. We also will extract this and then take the essential oils of each one of these constituent elements and we do put it into an oil that can be used uh, with a diffuser or can be applied directly to the body absorbed that way. Believe it or not, we take the same essential oil mix and we also make a soap out of this. And then finally, we take the mix and extract it with an alcohol base and make a spray uh, that is safe to use on you know, furniture or just in the air, uh, around in your vehicle. Okay, it's a good place for that. And you can find all of these on our website and much more. Thank you for watching. I enjoyed spending this time with you. Take care.